safety aspect is standards aspect is also so so that we are we are we are taking note of this and uh, uh, we are happy to say that is it true that the tea exporters have also approached the fasai asking for dilution of standards never they don't call for dilution they only say yes no they it has never happened they only say that let us harmonize things So it's not it's a national stringency because no. some of the people that is too stringent the norms so are that aspect is not covered. Right. Yeah. So we have a this this whole script. So is it is used only for tea or for other? No, no. This is for everything. Not this. This is for all kinds of plantations, which are edible plantations. So these we set a uh, uh, standards for both domestic edible and which is internationally is harmonized. So it is harmonized in the Codex Alimentarius Commission. Codex Alimentarius Commission, which is for 180 countries as members, so every country has got its own pesticide residue limits. Our rights are there, and uh, they try to get it harmonized because you know we are the power of the country. So uh, we conduct samples regularly. Samples, uh, we pick up samples for the milk and the products. We this year we started to collect more. We have collected survey on the tea from the last six months back. Six months back, yeah. We collect national survey. So we, uh, as a part of that research, we wanted to interact with the association here, the associations, the exporters. How do we make our standards? And uh, we wanted to have a feedback, direct feedback, with the industry and. Uh, Regulator team board. So in the entire supply chain, how is that? You know, the growers, the merchants, the exporters. How are they meeting the standards of the CCI? Team board is very actively pursuing mm-hmm. and uh, ensuring that so these people meet the standards. And we are taking the inputs from the exporters and the growers. As you say, the survey was conducted by. Is there something at all? Yes. So, what was the outcome? What was observed? There's being at all. It's not a final. Okay. It's not a final. Being at all. And see, in the export market, what kind of was after post COVID? There are kind of similar players that are taking up the post COVID issue. So, what is the kind of feedback you have got from the export market? Because there has already been reported that there are quality standards. Standards here in the quality standards also. See if you see that, you know, in many of the countries, on various products, it can be fish, meat products, and various products, you know, which uh, about international, it's reported that there are many rejections mm. happen. Yes. Fortunately for Indian exporters, you know, we don't find so many rejections. We will not see internationally. You know, if we, you may be seeing, you know, some countries of rejections of the fish and fish mm. products, poultry rejections are there. Um, but in India, as far as India is concerned, we don't find we are so fortunate that at least we are meeting international standards, and the our tea industry is also is meeting our international standard. In fact, we are very happy uh, to note that not many rejections are reported internationally, and our tea industry is adhering, certainly adhering to the international standards, and we are we are, we are happy with the uh, the kind of uh, uh, good. Manufacturing practices what we talk about. So for 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 we are trying to have the improvisation. How do we improve ourselves internationally? How do we make the? Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon to get the latest updates.